It's that time again. It's Yngwie time. All right, so today we are diving into Ship of Fools, one of my favorite Yngwie songs off my absolute favorite Yngwie album, Attack. I think it's tone and everything is just amazing on this album. So before we get into that, I am tuned down a half step. So just like Yngwie, he's pretty much always half, half step down, it seems. And we're all the way up here. And we're starting on 17th fret of the high string. Now, if you have not done the style of pedal tone exercise before, I shouldn't say exercise, just lick, you can use this as a really good exercise. It's so fun. I practice a lot of this stuff because it just sounded like music. So I'm on 17th fret of the high E string. And I'm gonna go to 15th fret on the high E and back to 17th fret. Now, when we're referring to a pedal tone, there's usually a repeating note or sequence that you're always going back to. So for this one, we are always going back to the 17th fret on the high E string, okay? Then you're gonna go to 13 on the high E string, back to 17, 12 on the high E string, and back to 17, so. Okay, back to 17 again, and then 15 on the B. It's the only time we change strings. Now, you can sit there and just cycle through that one and get that under your fingers first. I'm starting with a down pick, and I'm just using alternate picking throughout the whole thing. I'm pretty sure Yngwie is also alternate picking this. We're just down, up, oh, not that. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, the whole time. So that B string note will end up being on an up. Now, for the next one, Yngwie is essentially changing chords. You know, you could view it as being out of the key of A. That's what's happening in the background. But he's, you know, pretty much outlining chords when he does this. Now, we have a new pedal tone here. We're gonna go to 13th fret on the high E string. That is our pedal note now. So remember, we're going to repeat that after every other note. So 13, 12, 13, 10, 13 on the high E string. Back to 13. Stretch all the way down to eight, kind of a big stretch. Then 13, so. Back to that 13 and then 12 on the B. And then the sequence would start over again if you wanted to repeat it. Keep in mind, Yngwie is doing each of these only one time though. So it's pretty fast transitions and switches for your hands. So if you have to, just practice those two. Now he moves up again. Think of this like he's outlining a C. So you're gonna go to 15th fret on the high E string, and then to 13, then 15. So obviously the 15th fret on the high E string is our pedal this time. We're always gonna be referencing that one after each other note. Okay, so 15, 13, 15. Then you're gonna go to 12 on the high E, 15 on the B. Stretch all the way down to 10. 15, and then 13 on the B. What's nice is your picking stays the same, so those B string notes should all hit on that upstroke. Okay, so those three would be. Next, you're gonna go. Shifting down again, 12 is now our pedal note. So you're gonna go 12 on the high E string, to 10, back to 12, then you're gonna go to eight, back to 12, stretch all the way down to seven, 12, and this time, 10th fret on the B is that B string note. Okay, again, cycle it. The fingering is on most of these are pretty similar, so. I just love how it just sounds like music. And I can sit here and practice stuff like this for hours and hours, and it just is a lot of fun. Okay, now we're actually gonna uh, kind of repeat one that we've done. So you're gonna go 13, 12, 13 on the high E string, then 10, 13, eight, 13, 12 on the B. Okay, so we have. Now these last two are a little bit different. This one, I think, is the most difficult one out of all of them. 
you're up, uh, you're pedaling on 10th fret of the high string. You're gonna go 10, 8, 10, 7. Back to 10. Stretch all the way down to 5. Back to 10. And then 9th fret. You gotta use your ring finger, at least I do, for that note. It kind of throws you off if you're not used to that one. Really good one because it uses all four of your fingers. Okay, and the final one is almost identical to one that we did before. You're gonna go 12th fret on the high string to 10, 12, then eight, then back to 12. Okay. After that 12, you go to seven, 12, and he adds a different ending here. This little part here, we're gonna go 10th fret on the B string to 12th fret on the high string, 9th fret on the B, to 12, and back to 10 on the B. Oh. That's the entire sequence. Just get to where you can do each one, one at a time, then try to combine two of them together, and then eventually you wanna to get to where you can do the whole thing real nice and put together. Then you just go crazy, and you go Yngwie Bend. And I think that's it guys. Like I said, this is just one of those things that I, I like to learn these because they're just fun, and you can practice them, and it doesn't really feel like you're practicing. You're kind of like tricking yourself. So that's gonna be it. The tabs are gonna be linked down below. If you would, subscribe, leave a comment with other guys that you would like to see in these short little video lesson series. And yo, I'm gonna bounce on out of here. End it bluesy, Yngwie style. <laughs>